I'm Leonie Fryer, I'm 56 years of age and I've had a heart attack. Leonie was 39 years old when she was diagnosed with a bad case of heartburn. A week later, she was having emergency heart surgery. I went to the cardiologist, they ran some tests and I didn't go home. I went straight to the operating table and it was touch and go. They had basically an hour to operate on me, otherwise I would have died because two of my main arteries, one was 90% blocked but the other was 99% blocked. Claire Singleton was a health conscious 39 year old who never considered herself at risk of a heart episode. I didn't think that it was possible that it could happen to me because I was young and fit and I didn't have the, the risk factors that um, you associate with, with this kind of heart episode. The major artery in Claire's heart was 90% blocked. She was completely unaware of her life-threatening condition. Started to get a radiating pain going across my chest and over and towards my arm, but on the right hand side. So didn't instantly come to mind that it was heart related. Cardiologist Dr. Ross Walker says women experience different warning signs than men. Men are very unidimensional, so they get the Hollywood heart attack, the crushing central chest pain going up to the throat, down the arms, whereas women tend to get a different presentation. Maybe the pain's not as bad, maybe the pain's not in the centre of the chest, maybe it's more shortness of breath or dizziness. It doesn't have to be pain. It can be any discomfort from the tip of your nose to your belly button that you're not sure about. How are you going there, Minnie? Yes, I'm going fine. My calves are a little sore, that's all. Right. According to the Heart Foundation, heart disease is the leading killer of Australian women. But there's a way to go in accurately recognising the symptoms and then acting on them. If you're getting tightness in the chest or just a weird discomfort every time you try and walk up a hill or you get a bit upset about something, that's more likely to be cardiac. And that can be here, that can be here, that can be down the arm, or it might be in the centre of the chest. But don't ever ignore symptoms because symptoms are nature's ticket into the system. Regardless of perceived fitness or age, when it comes to heart, there are five primary risk factors. Number one, and the most important one, is not cholesterol. That's number two. The most important one is high blood pressure. Number three is cigarette smoking, and tragically still 13 to 14% of the Australian population still smoke. Number four is diabetes. And number five is a family history of someone who has some sort of vascular disease before about age 65. And while seven in 10 Australian women have at least one risk factor for heart disease, there is some good news. This is the most important point I can make. Lifestyle is king. I'm also a great believer in evidence-based supplements. So there are a variety of different supplements that are very good for cardiovascular health. Ubiquinol is the active version of coenzyme Q10. As we get older, our CoQ10 levels drop in the bloodstream and drop in our cells. And that's why many people over the age of 50 feel tired, because they don't have enough CoQ10 running around in the system to give them good quality energy. But specifically for cardiac disease, there are many people who've gone beyond just standard heart disease to get what we call cardiac failure, where the heart doesn't pump properly. And there's some extremely good work to show that ubiquinol improves cardiac function in conjunction with orthodox medical therapy. For Claire and Leone, hindsight is a wonderful thing. I look back and I think that I was probably under a lot of stress for a reasonably prolonged period of time. I certainly have slowed down my lifestyle. Most importantly, I listen to my body. If there's something wrong, I'll be dialing triple zero.